different the methods of expression are today. We can say it in Morse, over the radio, or in the words of the old song, Oh, my darling Clementine. We've got so used to scientific miracles, that the modern telephone system, that we forget that once upon a time messages were sent by the old semaphore. Wooden arms or blades, so placed as to be visible over a distance of about 10 miles. They were put up at intervals, and messages could be relayed to the coast. Then came the apparatus for signalling by means of shutters. At the Kensington Science Museum is a model of the first Morse telegraph. It consisted of a hinged lever, and under it a stick or rod carrying a series of notches. A roller dragged the stick along, and a probe on the end of the lever engaged in the notches, and Bob was your uncle. The bobbing up and down in the notches made a contact in two mercury cups at the other end. The stick could be removed and the letters interchanged, but wiring home for more money was still a bit of a job. Each one of these sections is a separate character. Then in 1837 came a big sensation. The Great Western Railway had installed a miracle machine actually a cook and wheatstone telegraph for signalling letters by magnetic needles on a dial. The modern Morse tapper key is a simple lever worked on a pivot. It's a sort of drawbridge for electricity and the diagram shows the relation between the sounder and the battery. If we lower the bridge, the current flows to the sounder. At the other end, the current energizes an electromagnet and this attracts the armature. The armature clicks down against a screw and taps out a message. The current returns back through the earth to the battery and there's no need for a return wire. Here is the actual tapper tapping and a modern sounder. The armature, the magnet and the tension spring that causes the armature to click on the screw. The procedure with the famous ABC transmitter was rather different. The coils revolved near a magnet and made a number of electrical impulses that corresponded with the letters on a large dial. And in this way, a message was telegraphed. In these troubled times, the Morse code has become more than ever familiar to most of us. Soldiers signal by heliograph. Sailors by flashing lights. Yes, V for victory. And E for that brilliant young deception.